My name's Johnny. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your white haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Doesn't matter for you guys. And today, as you guys know, Legends are officially out. Got that boy LTD Mike Haynes, as you guys can see in the top three. But not only that, we also made some big time changes to the Raiders theme team, man. A lot of upgrades. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that. As you guys can see, that coin count is took a took a nice little chunk. So you know, obviously. A lot of upgrades. So let's go ahead, get into player stats, and also show you guys the changes. First up, Joker fan, we got that boy Mike Haynes, the man of the hour. Comes in at six foot two, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 agility, 99 jump, 92 player rec, 99 man coverage, 98 zone, with a 96 press. Now, again, Mike Haynes is a very interesting card, bro. Uh, I had my issues with the Mike Haynes earlier in the year simply because i believe it was because he was a zone archetype corner he didn't really fit into my scheme and what i was trying to do on defense which obviously is primarily man coverage but this time around obviously thank god ea decided to give him man cover archetype which means cheaper man cover abilities so that's what we needed so we're gonna go ahead and also get into that now as far as his card abilities obviously zero ap pick artist is an absolute must again i would stay away personally for me i would stay away from acrobat acrobat just doesn't seem that op this year again ad catching is more so of the meta especially when it comes to deep passes nine times out of ten people are going for ad catching you are not going to get a chance to really utilize acrobat the way it's been used in past years because of the passing meta now so zero ap pick artist is obviously a must now inside shade versus mid-route knockout now mid-route knockout is a good ability don't get me wrong but i prefer deep route knockout on a lot of my players i run into so many more games of going against people who just want to air the ball out deep corner routes x y and z deep route knockout to, for me is more so the move the medium route knockout which is why we went with inside shade for 2ap now inside shade we do have mike haynes obviously as our slot corner slot corner he, there's no reason i would imagine unless it's like some gun monster or something stupid like that where mike haynes will not be guarding a receiver inside the numbers that's where inside inside shade works so we're gonna go ahead and see how well this works because for me preference wise i prefer my three corner positions all to have deep route knockout but again if i see what i want and see what i like out of inside shade obviously we'll keep my canes where he's at but if we don't obviously dude's got 99 man coverage 98 zone coverage we can't put him at another safety spot or put him at the safety spot, take Casey Hayward, put him at the one or the two or whatever, where he gets deep route knockout for two AP. Now, Joker fam, as a whole, this is what no fly zone is looking like. Like I've already said, Mike Haynes will be at our third corner spot in our slots. We still have Denzel, um, Denzel Ward here. Uh, again, pick artist for zero, deep route knockout for one. Helps a lot with AP, so we're gonna keep him here. We took out Deion Sanders. He's still in the iron binder just in case we have to go back to him for whatever reason but we still have him on the um in our item binder like i said but this is the change that i was talking about we do have casey hayward at our safety spot again deep round knockout for 2ap mike haynes also has 2ap so it'll just be a easy flip it wouldn't even deal with or losing any ap anywhere so that's what we'll do if inside shade is not doing what i expected to do now offensively this is where we also made quite a few changes here too amari cooper is now going to be our receiver too now this is the free amari cooper card that we got from the campus heroes too again i was back and forth on whether or not i wanted to do gameplay on him because i would have had to replace him for jerry rice now stat wise yeah he is better than jerry rice but ap wise again jerry rice just gets the ap that i need for one cheaper but you guys know one ap can go a long ways but as it is amari cooper here are his stats amari cooper comes in with 96 speed 92 jump 92 catch 91 catching traffic 93 spec 93 short 91 medium and a 90 deep route running now again these stats maybe out i believe outside of catching traffic which might be like one or two amari cooper does beat out jerry rice in all of these stats even with obviously the plus two raider cam he still beats him out in everywhere so like i said outside of the catching trap which 
was by one. So again, I could deal with that. It is what it is for me. Amari Cooper stat-wise is the better card. So obviously with Jerry Rice having zero AP runoff, which again, it's it has its usefulness here and there, but for zero AP, you're not losing anything. Obviously, I still wanted to have it on there again, just in case. So we went ahead, have two AP on Amari Cooper. We took that one AP off that we needed off of Jason Kelsey, who had post up. We put Nasty Streak. Now, I haven't seen nothing fall off of my run game with having Nasty Streak on versus having post up. Again, I know Nasty Streak's not going to do much for him since nine times out of 10, there's a tackle lined up over him. Or actually, 10 times out of 10, I don't think there hasn't been a time that there isn't a D tackle lined up over him. But again, Nasty Streak zero AP, so I threw it on him. Whatever, if he gets a double team block and somehow gets to the second, um, the second level, fantastic. Another big time pickup that we also made was Marshall Yonda, one of the new Raiders that um, that's in the game now. Again, for him, zero AP on everything. We don't utilize much with um, with our guards. Puller Elite, he won't be pulling, but just doing on him anyways. Nasty Streak. Now this is a op this could be a chance that he might get to the second level if people are running dime three three things of that nature. He can get to that second level, blow up a block, create big run lanes for us. Now, Joker fam, as it is, this is going to be a Mike Haynes slash Amari Cooper type gameplay. Now, again, I know what Amari Cooper can do. I've already used him in some of the weekend league games, so he seems to be playing fine. He fits in well, so I'm not really worried about that. Mike Haynes is going to be more so of my concern. Inside Shade has its usefulness. I've obviously, Ronnie Lott has had it for a while. He does lock up fairly well here and there, so I don't have much of an issue with that. But again, like I said, I have a specific use for a deep route knockout on corners, especially where Mike Haynes plays. So if Mike Haynes does well with inside shade at the slot, then hey, we're going to keep inside shade at the slot for him. And that's it. We'll leave it at that. But again, if we need to move him elsewhere, obviously, we got the AP, we got the DBs to do that for sure. But let's go ahead, jump into it. Let's see how no fly zone plays. Let's see if these boys can continue to lock up. And let's see if Mark Cooper can get some dots for us. All right. See y'all boys in there. All right, Joker Prime. So found ourselves a game. There go. Oh, no, that's not us. Hey, Legends theme team. He's already got Mike Ains too. Hey, bet that up. Let's get it. There go. All right, the boys right there. So let's get into it. Also, Joker Prime also did forget to mention another upgrade that we made. We obviously have Mike Dicker in the backfield with us. We went ahead and got rid of Jason Witten. Um, he's just been pissing me off in the weekend league. So yeah, we, he had to go. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what we can get going. Um, that might not be open. This could be open, but it got broken up. Denzel Ward. Okay, bet that up. See, this would have been a good time for Nasty Street because Yonda actually got up to Ted Hendricks. He could have blown that up. We could have been off and running for sure. But we'll we'll fix that for next game. Good to see Mike Haynes still getting beat. See, here's the thing, man. Just because you pick up Mike Haynes and you're willing to spend all these coins, you still got to put your players in positions to succeed. That's just what it comes down to. Just that simple. But like I said, Joker... Um, all right, Joker fan, right now we're on no-fly zone, man. Let's go ahead and see if we can keep locking up. Or keep locking up. Let's see if we can lock up and do what we got to do. But as it is, it will be 10 times easier to be like, yeah, um, Mike Haynes, best corner in the game. Let me go ahead and just put him at my number one corner spot look at that keeping up with him just see this is when a deep route knockout will be so more so much more beneficial for me because whereas he was right in this dude's back pocket like rubbing up against him and everything it's not gonna get the breakup man it's either it's either pick or that's it it's really you just gotta hopefully get the pick and that's it <clears throat> but either way man you still gotta put um even if you got the best corner in the game you still gotta put him in a position to succeed bro that's just the way it is. <laughs> Thank you. Got Lock it. Lock it up. So let's go ahead and get right back to work. Let me see what we got. Could be zone here. Nope. Man coverage. Oh, my. All right. That's okay. Easy. Dog, just give me... Let me cut it up, EA. Come on, man. Actually, we might be able to hit a... Uh... Hey, we'll take that. Cooper. A 
Mari, thank you very much. All right, Jogger fan, back on no fly zone, man. Again, just gotta, I don't know, man. I just gotta keep watching um, Mike Haynes and see what he does. These see, nuts. things like that, we can get jiggy with that. 110%. We can mess with that. I'll take that without a doubt. But when it comes down to it, that's that's really what it's going to have to take is him getting picks. Because obviously, he can't get knockouts, you know? And I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I don't think, as much as I love deep route knockout, it's not worth 3 AP, which that's what it's going for for him. It's not worth it. Yep. Because I know he doesn't have a knockout on him. This is going to be easy dots. See, that's what I'm saying. If you don't put Mike Haynes in a position to succeed, or any player in a position to succeed, they're not going to. They're not going to, oh, well, I got the best player in the game, so I should be straight. Like, no, nah, man. Like, that's not how it works, bro. All right, Joker fam. Right back out here again, bro. Let's go ahead and see what we got going. Let's see if he attacks it again. Now, see, I can now. I'm comfortable with... Okay, never mind. I, I I stand corrected. I thought that was gonna be a breakup. I don't know why Rod Woodson went for the pick. Oh man. Yep. Okay. All right. We'll take that. Let's go. Good dot. What the heck? So this is what we do, EA. We're just giving up free returns. <sighs> this man struggles to get points on offense. So EA is like, we got to give him something on special teams. But it's all right, though. I'm, I'm cool with it, man. At the end of the day, for me, like, I don't need EA to bail me out. I'll, I'll earn my points. I'm good with it. I'll, I'll earn mine. That's, that's what EA likes to do, man. They like to let the better players earn it and let the bad players not, not have to worry about it. Play the game long enough, you'll, you'll get some bailouts. And that's just, it just is what it is. But I'll earn mine. Nani? He wasn't. You're joking. Crazy. Yep, give him my knockout. Yes, sir. Thank you. There's my knockout. All right, Joker fam. So we got ourselves a fourth and ten. Crazy. It's wild what happens when you gotta actually earn points. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy what happens when you gotta earn your points. Crazy. Something's gotta be open. I'm not tripping, right? Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out why his safety dropped back and he was sending a man blitz. Like, but I, I guess because I blocked the tight end, he just dropped back, I guess. All right, Joker fam. Back on no fly zone, man. If I had to sum up this dude's offense, or sum up his points at least, um, deep ball. But my deep route knockout didn't proc, so we got the catch, set up the touchdown, and a kick return. So, you know what I'm saying? All luck. In my, my, in my book, it's all luck. So, as you guys can see, man, this is why I'd rather have deep route knockouts for those, for those situations. You know what I'm saying? There's no... I did not think he was going to bounce from the sideline and get that kind of animation to the ball. That's okay. I just got to... I let the game do his thing, bro. That's it. Unless it's um, unless it's Mike Haynes, and I know I can't get a knockout. I gotta get this. Oh, one right. he's stealing! Okay, thank you. I was ahead of him. Like there, there's no reason why I couldn't have gotten that one. 
got him. Put Mike Haynes in a position to succeed, man. You don't do it. You're going to keep getting beat, bro. We ain't figured it out yet, but that's all right. He'll figure it out sooner or later. How the heck? Easy, easy, easy. Yep, GG's. Get him out of here, bro. Might as well, you might as well put that Mike Haynes back up for two mil. Might as well. All right, Joker Fam, so we found ourselves another game. We've got Marvin Harrison, Charles Woodson, and a Herman Warren. And there go our Raider boys right there, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Joker Fam, so starting this one out on offense, man. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. As you guys can see, Marshall Yonda has his abilities on him. So. Hopefully, we can see him get to the second level at some point in time. Let that up. Let's see what we got. D-route knockout. D-route knockout. I respect it. I respect that. Yes, sir. I respect it indeed. D-route knockouts everywhere. All right, Jumper Pamp. So, more no-fly zone now, man. Let's go ahead. Do what we got to do. Lock up. Once again, keep an eye on Mike Haynes. He is in the slot, like I said. And right now he's outside the numbers. So not going to get the uh, ability proc, but that's okay. We'll help him out for a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. See, Rod Woodson's in the perfect spot for this, but I don't know why Mike Haynes is... He's not gonna get the breakup. Yeah, see that that's that's a problem, man. Cause I know for a fact if he had that deep route knockout, that would have gotten that would have gotten played. Psych. Thank you. Don't know why you try to throw it back that way. Um, if I could have spun him out, I might have been gone, bro. Let's go! Mike Dicker, let's go, baby. Because whereas he can, like, kind of keep up, I know if he had deep route knockout, this wouldn't even be an issue, bro. Because even if he falls, like, a step or two behind, he'll still be there. See, I don't know, man. My canes just got beat. My canes just got toasted on that. All right, Jordan, friend, back on offense, man. I'm not gonna lie, as it as it's looking for us right now. I don't know, man. I feel like Mike Haynes is better off being at the uh, being at the safety spot, man. Outside of that one post route or post corner, I should say, because he just got that dude got wide open, like easy. But outside of that one, Mike Haynes, man, if he had um, deep route knockout, man, he would have knocked out that one deep pass to Marvin Harrison. Like I know it, I know it for a fact, bro. But. A skull, Moss. Come on, baby. Like that right before half. All right, Jumper So we're in the second half now, man. Like I've already been saying, man. Mike Haynes right now guarding Marvin Harrison with short, short and elite. Again, um, obviously Shorten's not proccing for him since he's playing him outside the numbers, which obviously means inside shade's not gonna proc for Mike Haynes either. But again, Mike, or Mike Haynes, Marvin Harrison is a very good route runner, so he's going to get open on a few things here and there. These um, C routes, these post corners, these things are going to get open. I can see that he's putting them up, and I don't know what just happened there. 
He must have got bumped or something. Whatever. All right, Joker fam. So we're on offense, man. Uh, we'll make our adjustments. I'm not gonna really worry too much about that. Dang, man. But either way, man. Mike Haynes. Like I said, it, it, for me, I think it really comes down to I just feel a whole lot more comfortable having a deep route knockout out there instead. And the fact that I don't have it, it's it's killing me, man. At least on that, on a one specific play that Marvin Harrison just had, um, Mike Haynes just completely toasted. Um, that might be too late. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Mm. I thought it was going to be too too late for the user, which it was, but turns out the CPU decided to step up and make a play. So, that's great. Hey, my guy actually made a play. His Ted Hendricks made a play. My Ted Hendricks made a play. It's good, it's good to know that it went both ways. Thank you. Good to know. Goodbye. GG's. Mike Haynes, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, he's not worth two mil. Do not buy this card for two mil. I don't care how long it takes for him to become a redux. Whatever the case is, he is not worth two mil. All right, he, he's just not. The way the meta is in this game, if you do not, all right, and you guys can take it for what it is, all right, you guys can have your own opinions about it. Matter of fact, you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you guys run as far as you, what you guys put on your DBs. Me personally, I prefer deep route knockout. All right, again, because I run more so of a man-based meta or man-based man defense. I can't really say meta, but man-based defense. A lot of people run zone. A lot of people are getting in a match, things of that nature. So what do they have? You see a lot of 1AP um, deep zone knockouts, 1AP deep end, 1AP flat, 1AP medium um, zone knockouts. That's what you need. You know what I'm saying? These knockouts, they're very, very important. Obviously, working with you know your tip drills and your pick artists. Inside Shade... Inside Shade has moments where it can be good, right? As far as being close to a um, close to a receiver and things of that nature, closing that gap, you know, making it a little bit harder to make certain passes, certain reads. But here's the thing: as you guys, if you guys watched the entirety of the first game that I played, his Mike Haynes was in position if he had deep route knockout. He was in perfect position to break up a whole lot of passes. But because I know he doesn't have that on him, I can add catch him without no problem. Now, can you break up passes without deep route knockout? Obviously, or deep zone, without any knockouts, period. Whether it's zone or man, can you break up passes without it? Yes, you can. But the odds of it are very, very slim. We all have been playing Madden for a very long time. We know how this game works with, with as far as abilities and how important they are in the game. But the way the meta is in this game, deep routes, especially as you guys saw from the second game that I played. This dude took so many deep passes. I think he only took maybe two or three check downs. And I believe two of them were probably in the red zone and where he didn't really have much of a choice because he didn't have no field to throw. The rest of these dudes passes, deep corner routes, C routes, streaks, things of that nature. That's what people are primarily targeting. As it is, inside shade is not gonna help you with that because if somebody just decides, well, I'm gonna highball it, and you all you got is pretty much pick artists that's going to defend against that, then you're screwed. But if you have deep route knockout, he can highball passes all they want. You have a knockout on. Now granted, yeah, it don't work all the time. I, I completely understand that. It, it'll probably work, it'll work nine times out of 10. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. All right, it's not a 100% guarantee you'll get the knockout, but you have more of a chance of getting a knockout on a high ball than you would if you just run inside shade pick artists. And that's just the way it is. Inside shade does nothing but put you in position to make plays, but you still need to have the right abilities to make plays. But Joker fam, you guys can let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys run in your DBs? And if you guys do are going to pick up Mike Haynes, Whenever that is, again, I don't recommend it until his price comes down a lot more. 
But if you do pick him up, what abilities do you think better suit Mike Haynes? You guys think he'll be better playing a corner spy or playing a safety spy? Do you guys think it'll be him running pick artists? Do you guys think it'll be mid route knockout? You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But Joker Fam, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If so, make sure you guys drop some last on the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 10K. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. Three. It only takes one second. That being said, because you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.